Are you okay? Hey, what's up everyone? Dan Ann here, and I'm going to show you how to play SNK games on your SNES Classic using HackG2 version 2.21F, as well as KMFD Manix SNES C cores. So, I've already added these ROMs into HackG2. I have used Art of Fighting, Fatal Fury, Samurai Showdown, King of Fighters 94, and World Heroes as examples. So um, I had used the new FBA 2016 core that has been added to this set. And so basically what I did was go to KMFD Manix GitHub site, which I'll link in the description, and then scroll down to the bottom where you see the downloads feature. As of this date, it is 11 9 2017 as the recent cores. Go ahead and download that. You'll check out your downloads folder. You will expand that by double clicking or you know right clicking and 7-zip extract to the KMFD Manic folder. It'll create a folder. Open that folder up. Open this folder up. And then I'm going to scroll to FBA Alpha 2016. What you do is just grab it, drop it into HackG2, and then you'll hit OK and install that. All you would need to do is change zip to FBA 2016, and you're set for all these ROMs. We'll go ahead and synchronize. And what I did new here was create a new folder for my SNK ROMs and add a new menu icon. You could just get any PNG file as long as it's within the 204 by 204 pixels, add it to the icon folder, which could be found at documents hack sheet two, folder images, and then you can just drop that image there and you'll be able to see that when you click on the menu icon. So I did that and I hit OK and just wait until those upload. Hey, come on, come on! Okay, and one last thing I forgot to mention is by clicking on the settings tab and then going into page slash folder structure and then hitting on that custom show folders manager every time to access the folders manager. Okay. So let's go ahead and check this out on the big screen. Cool. So let's go ahead and open up the SNK folder. And here we go. So here are all of our SNK ROMs. So we have Fatal Fury, World Heroes, Art of Fighting, Samurai Showdown, and King of Fighters 94. Let's start off with Fatal Fury. Okay, and so you notice that I have added this Neo Geo Universe BIOS function here. And the way you access that is by pressing start and select and then going into quick menu. And from here, going into options. And from here, it would be at MVS, but you can go ahead and select UniBIOS. That will force the BIOS to show up every time you load. So I'll back out of here, we'll resume. And in order for you to access this is by pressing the Y, B, and A buttons on your Super Nintendo controller once you see the Neo Geo Universe BIOS splash screen. So what I'm gonna do here is change the region. So right now, we're on European and the arcade. So what if I wanted to do the US and arcade mode? I would press the A button, which is the B button on Neo Geo. 
and then the B button on the Super Nintendo controller, which is equivalent to the A button on the Neo Geo. And there you go. So now I'm on the USA region in the arcade mode. So we'll go ahead and play the game. Okay, so it's loading fine. And you can tell that this is the US version because winners don't use drugs. Okay, so it looks like it's loading. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and access the cheat menu, which should be holding start and select. So you, how I would do it is hold select and then start. And you can see in the background that the cheat database is there. I will go ahead and click on resume. And so from here, you can access the cheat database. Infinity, no hit stop, and action speed up is pretty crazy. You could keep pressing buttons and rapid fire at that point. To get out of here, you're gonna press the Y button on your Super Nintendo, which is the C button. And you're gonna do that again. And there you go. So I've added the credits already and we'll go ahead and press start. So we're only gonna need three buttons anyway. Um, let's go ahead and use, are you okay, Terry Bogart? All right, I'm just gonna select random, it's probably Tung Fu Ru. You can see he has some seizures going. All right, that's Fatal Fury. Let's go ahead and check out World Heroes. One of my favorite games, actually, in the SNK series. So I'm going to go ahead and change the region here. Uh, let's do Japan and console version. Let's go back down here. Okay, it's loading fine. And let's see. Here we go, World Heroes. Let's see if I can access the... Yes. So holding select and then pressing start, you'll be able to see the cheat database behind there. So let's get out of here. And then I'm going to go ahead and access the cheat database. Let's do infinite double jump uh, and um, infinite energy and infinite time. So we'll set those, we'll exit out of here, press start. Let's do hard because it doesn't really matter at this point. And here's the Japanese intro. I'll give you the how to play. All right, let's go ahead and select Hanzo Deathmatch. Cool, I got hit by the wall. Yeah, this uh, M. Bison wannabe right here. And you can see that my life is uh, is uh, still there and I'm double jumping this whole match. And the time has not moved since. And the third game, Art of Fighting. Let's go ahead and check that out. And let's see. We could try the 
the Japan version in the arcade mode. Let's do that. Get your warning sign. And then here we go. Perfect. So let's go ahead and enter. Okay, so let's access this cheat mode again. Okay, so let's go ahead and unlock the boss. Let's do infinite chi and infinite energy. Cool. Let's get out of here. Be Rio. I guess it takes you directly to the final boss. see that my life bar is still up I'm still at green energy bar and there you go even though the face is bruised I still got a perfect score all right samurai showdowns next into the first weapons fighting game on SNK. I'm just going to leave it on European arcade mode. And was called Samurai Spirits, I believe, in, J in Japan. All right, so let me see if I can, yep. Enable red blood. Um, can also have infinite energy. I can play as Amakusa or Amakusa. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Um, yeah, let's do that. And infinite power. No faint recover. There you go. Perfect. Let's get out of here. Yeah, it doesn't matter who I choose because it's just going to go directly to Amakusa. Last but not least, King of Fighters 94. Go ahead and check that out. You know, I haven't played this game in such a long time. I didn't even realize that King of Fighters 94 started off as a set of three characters per country. That's weird to me. Press start. So here's King of Fighters 94. So you got both Terry and Rio. So yeah, check this out. King of Fighters 94, you have a set of three. Which is weird because it's like, okay, well, you have to learn every single one of these characters. Whereas in the later versions, you get to choose and pick which ones you wanted in that set. In this version, I like Dandy. He was very fast. And as you can see here, I'll show you um, one of the craziest mods. Okay, so let's access that cheat menu. If I can access it, 
There you go. All right. So I will use um, no uh, action speed up and infinite energy and infinite power. Okay. So let's get out of here. Check this out. Hmm. Let's see. No hit stop. Yeah, there you go. No project no projectile weight. No hit stop and action speed up. Check this out. There we go. This is ridiculous. All right, so that's it for the video. I appreciate you guys watching it. I'm gonna go ahead and leave some details in the description below. And if you haven't watched my previous videos on my SNES Classic tutorials, go ahead and check those out. If you have any other questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section as I will try to answer them the best I possibly can. If you'd like to see more content from me in the future, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Good luck. Thanks for watching.